All right. Good day, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. Today was session number 11, and the beginning of chapter 4, The Joys of Civilization. We currently have a way to send in E because uh, that's where Jack is being uh, kidnapped. And uh, of course the gang is now trying to um, get him back to the gang and to kind of like punish whoever's responsible for that happening. Lori took care of the Braithwaite family last time, who kind of like uh, basically sold Jack to um, the guy in saint called Angelo Bronte. So uh, yeah, I reckon today we're gonna get to know him and uh, then also find out where Jack is being held. First, let's go ahead and change my graphic settings here. Because the game, once again, isn't in full screen. All right. So we're actually currently in Valentine. I'm not quite sure where we ended here or why, but uh, there is a strange image up here. Let's go ahead and check that out. is nothing but a spreader of lies and a believer of nonsense. Our mother had a son and then was barren, but a witch. Passing the house gave her a boy and she kept it. Unbeknownst to my mother, that boy was sent forth from the fiery pits of hell. Oh, you can tell he's not human because of his beady red eyes and his bestial tail. People have tried to drown him many times, but of course, he floats. No, the only way to kill him is to stab him in his villain's heart. That being said, my dear Miss Helen, like all creatures of Morning, the night, Mister. he's nothing but a terrible coward. Oh, this man is scared of his own shadow. He wanted to be nursed until he was 15. He sleeps with the lights on and is never happier than when he is being cuddled by the strong motherly type. I am many things, but a coward I am not. A fool for putting up with your tripe, perhaps, dear brother, but a coward, take it back. A coward, I'm not. Oh, I've touched a nerve, I see. Yep. <laughs> it's too full. I still remember them from my first time playing. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, 
Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? <laughs> I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. shit i think the passive that i'm uh, actually having equipped right now is like having too much of a spread damage i did aim at the bottle but it uh, also hit him <laughs> jesus i think i have to reload the save here because uh, it might not give us more of these stranger missions otherwise Hey, precision getter. Hey, precision getter. Hey, the Maxi. Welcome in, dude. My friend. And good day to you. Yeah. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean. I okay, so can I skip this, uh, skip this cutscene? Obviously, I do because I look yeah. like that milk sop there. But tis. Okay. Please put us out of our misery. Is as good. So I can't Go. use enough uh, weapon. So I have to use a freaking shotgun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just aim high, I guess. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you did. And uh, yeah, Maxi, I'm doing good. Having a nice day so far. How about you? Hey there, Skiala. Um, well, I'm not going for like a 100% completion. But I'm doing like a lot of the missions. So uh, basically doing like a 100% uh, mission completion. Um, so I'm trying to find all the stranger missions, all the gang companion missions and uh, all of that. It's uh, good to hear, Maxi. Hope you feel better. Yes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Ready? Aim. Fire. Sir, waiting. 
Why do I have to do this with a shotgun bow? It's <laughs> not good. Of course, I can shot him. Okay, I think what I have to do is read off a save. Then make sure that our primary weapon is like an actual revolver and not a freaking shotgun. And then try again. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. I can't change it like during the mission apparently. That's a verse, uh, Maxi. Best of luck with your task and um, thank you for lurking. Cheers, says Gala. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying being back with uh, this game for my first ever replay. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, horse here. I change that to the... Um, Up action revolver, I guess. Let me also take Flacco's revolver. Or we could go for Granger's revolver because that's uh, a more unique one. Let's go, girl. Yeah, it really is. Like, um, you know, the story, the characters. It's also how freaking immersive this game is. It's crazy how much time I spent on like, you know, of a mocap and making the wildlife also seem super realistic. No, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Okay, that's better. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Ready? Yes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Ready? You're drained. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet. <laughs> I mean, she's putting up with it, so I guess uh, she wants this. Yeah, what a bunch. Never been gambling long. Howdy, bars open. What do you have? Uh, let's get a lamb's fry, obviously. Lamb's fry for you. Go for 
the right parted. But with a fate. To put you out on parade looking like that. Right then, you are all set. Thank you. Really. Morning. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. So, what are you aiming for today? Hmm. Let's have a look at the volcanic pistol here. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Okay, so I've already uh, upgraded this one. Fair enough. Citizen! Citizen? <laughs> hey, Vic Ramey. Welcome in. You'll be back, no doubt. It's hard, right? Kind of scared me just now. Because the game was uh, being so silent. Morning. Decided you can show your face here again by now, huh? Don't get up to any mischief in here. Okay, let's see what I want. The doctor's office I already have robbed. You can't be over there. But I can't uh, knock over here anymore, so I reckon there's like nobody inside this uh, safe. It's really curious why it's still like being uh, tagged as like an active uh, robbery. Even though I can't uh, go ahead and rob it again. Let's have a look again at the back door here. Who's a good boy? Yeah, on the deck with that. Uh, Safe anymore. Never mind then. I guess we could have a look at the other potential robberies we can still do. Should be a couple marked in the task uh, section. For example, we have the uh, Watson's cabin. An old lady who lives alone north of Strawberry is rumored to be sitting on some veil boats. An old lady? I really want to rob her. I mean, we could investigate the place, I guess, and if she's kind of nasty, then maybe. Maybe over here.
Morning, friend. Come on, girl. myself turned around again. Maybe somebody moved my house. Ain't so good. You I know where I live. In front of the saloon, fixed. next to the freight station. Ass. Am I heading in the right direction? You're gonna want to head that way, friend, but maybe you better lay off the whiskey for a while. And do what? Nah, I'll miss ride as rain. Thank you kindly, sir. I gotta say, I almost admire you. You don't give a damn. The things you see are all like this again. An interesting connection with Stephen for the uh, bad honor run. But I would feel really bad if I find him like that somewhere because I misled him. Hello, mister. Oh, hello again. Good to see you again. Uh, we're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance of teaching a pig to sing opera than to turn this pair into carpenters. <laughs> it don't look so bad to me. Uh, I asked God for sons, and he sent me donkeys. Ain't that right, boys? Buy this shithole. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. So, yeah. Looks like you're almost there. We might actually finish this thing. Who you looking at, idiot? Why would you say that? I'm only kidding around. Okay, well, fine, I guess. <laughs> Just randomly messing with uh, people. Classic Red Dead move. Hey there, girl. Yeah.
Easy now. Got a new hub here. Oh, oregano. Very nice. It's even one of the herbs that uh, I think Susan wanted to make her cooking uh, taste a bit better. I don't share this camp with no one else. Or at least uh, the cooking of uh, Pearson. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect this. Love these guys. We got another cigarette card here. I think our max current is like 6 out of 12 or so. See how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. You're on, feller. All right. Let's go!
more than a purse to win races. Ah, darn it! I paid good money for you! Whoa! Jesus Christ. All right, I'm Stop hitting your freaking horse, would you? Maybe that's why I lost, because you're dickhead. Hey, mister. Howdy there, friend. Ah, oh, never mind. This is an open currently. Mister. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. This is actually stagecoach information. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check that out first. Sir, hello. Thank you for keeping the peace. Hey there, come on over. I got something here that might be of interest. What you got for me this time, Hector? Coach heading to Appleseed Timber. Supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch them off guard. Okay. Forgive me, officer. Listen, I'm gonna have to ask you to move along. Hey, what are you doing here? Just calm down. Oh, no, 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 no. You're good at this. You run away from me before? I hear you. Yeah, just show, would ya? Okay, there. Is uh, that the house they were talking about? Let's have a look.
doesn't look like, but it looks definitely curious. Like that design. <laughs> Heck. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this house over here. Yep. David Jen, welcome in. David Denver. <laughs> you saw Garrett passing by. Yep. Yeah, he's everywhere. Hey, move it. He's been traveling through time just like uh, Siri. A note from Jim. Back in a few days, gone to pick up Mildred from her mother's house. The new Mrs. Peyton. Best Jim. Hey, the hit picks. Welcome in. Yeah, it's going good. Playing some Red Dead Redemption 2 today. And uh, yeah, making a start on the fourth chapter. So more than halfway through at this point uh, of the story. They said uh, North of Strawberry. We have like one house over here. We did check that out. We went up there. Yeah, no idea. Let's copy to this uh, stagecoach location. Let's go for the anchor repeater. 
and the rolling block rifle. Uh, yeah, then I would prefer not to know anything about missions I still have to do. So, um, yeah, if I still have a mission open, I would like uh, for what happens to be a surprise. Are they supposed to have like uh, guns or something? At least that's what the uh, guy told us. Okay, so gave us the information for the stagecoach here. Yeah? We're transporting guns or something. Maybe they already have uh, sold them and the money was kind of like uh, from the deal. But uh, yeah, I think it's time we go to Saint Denis. But uh, three different missions here. We got uh, Angelo Bronte, The Joys of Civilization. I think I'm gonna start with that because it's kind of like why we came to Saint Denis. Ah, oh, never mind. So there's like three different uh, starting points here. But show like uh, travel music and uh, pictures. It took us like, damn man! Super excited. Home's 
for the blind. Mm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Please, can you spare some money for a blind man? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Yep. <laughs> Damn, it's an organized streets we're living in the future. Yeah, it's quite interesting, like, the contrast between the different chapters, right? Like... Spending so much time in nature, and then you get over here, and it looks like, you know, proper 20th century here. And we'll be just at the tipping point, really. Got a photo studio. Let's actually have a look over there. So. Oh, I would reckon it's actually close, isn't it? First time, no? Welcome, sir. Hmm, never mind. I'm afraid you must remove that mask. There, no mask. There, good. Unique face, too. We can change the background. <laughs> well then, let's have a look what we have. Damn. Django. Kinda like that, actually. What else do we have? The saloon, I guess. here. We could go to if you prefer. That'll do nicely. Volcano and like what looks to be like Greek architecture or something. Seems legit. I will make it work. That looks alright, I guess. Yeah, I think I go for the uh, second one. Ah, Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. For your portrait. Sure, that one, thanks. Yeah, let's go for the jungle here. Why not? We can also go ahead and change the pose. Oh, damn. Classic cover, kind of like uh, post there. I like it. Can I get my portrait taken, please, friend? <laughs> what other poses do we have here? <laughs> I've been showing a coffee. Now, pose for me something comfortable. It looks alright, I guess. Definitely classic uh, alpha picture. Smoking a cigarette. Give me a okay, I, can, I think I go for the cigarette. For me, something comfortable. Hmm. 
Uh, okay, I think what should do. I've done it. Ah, nice. I actually done a picture of this. From my first playthrough, because that's like the classic pose from um, Red Dead 1, I think, from the cover. This is uh, John, of course, in the epilogue. Uh, that's funny. Wow. So this was my first time playing... Uh, <laughs> Red Dead 1, and I literally chose the same background and the same pose there. The jungle with a cigarette. Amazing. But yeah, my alpha had a pretty mighty beard wall. I'm closing now. Choose something or go. Thank you. Tomorrow is another The architecture looks uh, a bit Victorian. Yeah, it could be actually. So, Sandini, I think, is based on New Orleans actually. So, you will find these kind of like uh, very typical balconies uh, all around the inner city, really. I've been there once, and uh, yeah, it looks very reminiscent. Also, how narrow the streets are as well. I guess it's probably uh, the biggest influence might be French, but I could be wrong. I'm looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the. The Bastille Saloon, opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. <laughs> A lot of uh, wreck time. Hey, wake the hell up. Oh, for Christ's sake, you ain't worth spit. It's all good. Calm down. <laughs> Send your favor, dude. Thank you for your help. And the lighting effects look so damn good in this game. Girl. Actually insane. Anyways, let's go to the Bastille Salon. Yes.
stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Uh, the way you get in here and everybody's like giving you bad attention. I like, don't belong here. Well, you know how it is. A bit awkward. That's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we <clears> all excuse me. washed away. I'll get you in a second. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they'd lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Right. I think most families are basically immigrants, yeah. I told you how to find Brontes. Get lost. Morning. Doesn't seem like a safe idea to go into the alley here, but what do I know? It's sent in right? The surprise offer still. Um, cowboy having six thousand uh, dollars in this time would make you rich. Yeah, I mean, definitely have enough money to go to, um, you know, Tahiti <laughs> and harvest mangoes. So we should just go there already. Suspense for music, so you know shit is going down. Damn, a secret card. Nice. to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Right. <laughs> Take my word for it then. You lost, mister? You all right there? Doesn't sound superstitious. Hey, 
you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> come on then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Of course it happens. You better stop right now. It could be an assassin or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This kid is such a troll. I think we should eat something. Because we need it. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. 
Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. I forget get uh, intimidated by a bunch of kids. Well, now you know why I uh, hit picks. <laughs> I like arm to a teeth. And they don't fuck about. That's kind of interesting how they can be so intimidating, right? Like, they've done a really good job. Fuck, is that not my horse? Whoops. What's my horse? Um. But yeah, they did a really good job kind of like showcasing of oh, they're almost like a game themselves, right? And apparently they also want us to maybe take care of Bronte. They don't seem overly fond of him. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have uh, let us go either. Dubai. Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Yep, yeah, Alpha ain't too happy about having to go here. But it's not like uh, they really had a choice, right? They gotta get uh, Jack back. Glad to see you again, sir. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Hey now. How are you, really? Well as can be, I suppose. <laughs> the mountain man. Amazing outfit. Get moving, then. Wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> Gambler Hoodster. Just the amount of uh, maintenance weapons required. 
run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. Hmm, interesting. That has a unique uh, design here. Yeah? Sure, you'll see a difference right away. Rest assured. I kind of like these uh, new designs, yeah? We like for bear hit picks. Bear hunter. <laughs> you have to display the trophy at all times, you know? It's not enough to hang it up at your home. You gotta wear it on your head. up to the ridge west of Annisburg. Good hunting. You meet a falconer named Jerry. Tell him I said hi. Howdy. Thanks, partner. Got some stranger missions here. Oh, well, let's have a look around. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm. I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. This guy. Yeah, thanks for the uh, sketch, I guess. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, no kidding, it picks. Art is worthless. Women are the truth.
Eva Barney, welcome in. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I can't. Good into the picture, good start. <laughs> Classic. I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Yeah. Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello there. I go myself. You know who I am. Joe-san. Oh, hello. Is there something else? Sin-san. Joe-san. Okay. Gentlemen. Get on up with. Excuse me, madam. Behind you. Hi there. Hello, ma'am. Morning, sir. Hello. Buenos dias. This change is very nice. Yeah. Was well, definitely quite friendly. Morning. Ma'am. Howdy. Howdy, partner. Howdy, madam. Howdy, sir. After saying hello to everybody. Maybe over here. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Looking for anything in particular? Well, you just let me know if I can help. Good. Let's have a look around. Oh, uh, no 
nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid they're just a, a few old books. Uh... A few old books, yeah. Let me inspect that. Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? Who's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must say, you're acting very strange. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hello, Mr. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not suspicious at all. Don't look behind that old bookshelf. Yeah. I think in there. <laughs> Jesus, what do you have here? Fucking hell. I should have opened that door in that guy's chest. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Who is this man? I don't know. We're free, if that's what matters. We have to confide in him. Alright guys, come over here. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Kind of funny how they're Spanish uh, speaking and <laughs> he's just talking French to them to try to uh, find common ground. But at least his intentions are, you know, good, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, 
look at that next show, uh, Man of the Church, that's like staying true to their beliefs and morals. Don't see that every day. Question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen. Don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, to do shine? It. Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine. It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Fair enough, yeah. Come on. It's kind of funny how it says, I'm gonna pay you. But the question is, you know, how much is he gonna pay us? Because 100 gallons, you know, that's like a whole lot of shine there. Could probably get more money to selling it, uh, or selling it to somebody else. Okay, that we go to, gotta go back to Rhodes here. Yeah? For now, I'm gonna go and stay in San Denivo. We could actually go to one of his shows. We didn't do that yet. Yeah, let's go over here. As for Miss uh, Marjorie. Huh. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, Help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. That sounds good, I guess. Kind of cool, there's a connection to one of the Stranger missions we've done way earlier. And yeah, that's right, they told us uh, to meet them in Saint Denis. Aldridge T. Abington! Thank you! Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men 
have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere. And in every dream, this entertainment show to even the dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low. And, and Sam um, Haberot, welcome in Senny. Thank you so much for the rate and welcome and rate us. Gifted artists. Eva Lucinda, good morning. And yeah, welcome to one of the shores of Santini. <laughs> Just about to get uh, started here. They are quite a capricious bunch. Presenting Miss Marjorie and We're also supposed to see some uh, magical stunts. actually uh, stop here real quick so we don't miss uh, too much about the show <laughs> but uh, yeah the game is going really good um we just started with the chapter four so uh we got kind of like um i guess kind of robbed by the kid gang but they gave us back the money <laughs> so that was good but uh, yeah currently on the search for angelo bronte but uh, i decided to go ahead and check out one of the shows so we can also meet with uh, Miss Marjorie afterwards. The stranger we did the mission for um, in one of the earlier chapters. How was the rest of uh, Splinter Cell today? I hope you had a good uh, time with the game. Hey, I'm in the best suit. <laughs> watching the streamer playing a character, watching the theater. What a time to be alive. <laughs> it's like full circle. You're watching me, watching uh, Arthur, watching a show. Seems legit. Yeah, they really are rot. It's kind of crazy how intimidating they can be as well, right? But I guess, given the kind of like arm to the teeth, that's a given. Oh damn, Lucinda, thank you so much for continuing the gift sub that you got from I'm the Bassett. I really appreciate that. Thanks for extending um, the sub there. Hope you enjoy the emotes going forward as well. But uh, the last two missions had some annoying sections in this playthrough. The second last mission has a section that uh, in all of the years you've played the game, you've never taken you as long as it did, probably almost an hour. But in the end, you got the game finished. So tomorrow's the next one, Pandora tomorrow. Hell oh, yeah, dude. That's some really good progress, you know, getting through the game as fast as you did. Was that like two streams? Or did it uh, take you more? But yeah, that's fair, dude. You know, like sometimes you just struggle with a mission so much. Um, even though... You know, the time before that you didn't. Earlier I did the mission with the twins, you know, where you have to kind of like shoot bodies off their heads. The twins that are kind of like fighting over that one woman. And the game kind of like auto-equipped uh, the sort of shotgun for me. <laughs> so even though I just hit the tip of the uh, bottle at the very top, you know, I uh, kind of like because of the spread damage, like one of them died two times in a row. So, uh, yeah, that mission took me like three tries to get right, even though, you know, last year I did like first try, I'm quite sure. But I guess the sort of shotgun didn't really help there. <laughs> you know? Taking advantage of September, you can finally add me as a permanent uh, sub. Oh, cheers, Lucinda. That's uh, very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's true. Definitely nice uh, kind of like um, event by Twitch. I haven't met like once a year. Um, Rod, that's right, two streams. First 10 missions in total with two DSC, but you left them out of uh, this run. That would have been annoying. <laughs> it definitely was, yeah. But also kind of funny. 
But I think there's like more missions with the twins, right? So I didn't want to have one of them killed. So I still have uh, more follow-up missions. But yeah, it's definitely fair, dude. I don't blame you for leaving out the DLC this time. Also to give you like more time to focus on the other games you still want to get to. Until the end of the year. But yeah, dude, that's uh, great progress. Getting the game done within two streams. Now, was Chaos Fury your favorite Sprinter Cell? Do I rem remember that right? Or was it um, another one? But yeah, let's have a look at this uh, show. And we can pause in between, I guess. Oh, hell yeah, and the best it. Enjoy the strawberries. Welcome back, Maxi. I miss you guys. kind of funny because he knows it's not scripted. It's just Bertram doing his thing. Tis I, Magnifico the Magnificent, and I have tamed the beast. Drop him! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! And dissipation, with the show. and even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> All right. what the hell I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy. We want more. And escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this. Robio. Doing your nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. No, not like that. You're not. I give up. You amateurs. Amazing. <laughs> what a show. Now it's a lunch break, Maxi. Hell yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Are you having anything delicious? Also, hey, the Oz. 
Welcome and thank you for the follow. Elrod, Chaos Fury is your favorite. It really added so many great improvements with the mechanics. And it was released three years after the first game. Damn. That's uh, quite early, actually. So that would be like 2003, is it? Yeah, that's awesome. So was that game that already added kind of like the shadow stealth mechanics? I know there's like a few games, I think, that kind of work with that, which I found always really cool. I kind of wish that um, Assassin's Creed would actually embrace something like that, you know, because it would really work also with the overall thematics of like working in the shadows. So, um, yeah. Who knows, maybe Hexa is gonna play around with that. The upcoming AC Montreal or Ubisoft Montreal uh, game. Get these weirdos off the stage. <laughs> yeah, classic Arthur. Just being completely savage. Just having you today. Sounds nice, Maxi. Hope you enjoy. Ah, hold on. It's not over yet. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. <laughs> Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. Never mind. So we're done. Let's go back to the ticket uh, sale guy. Why something? Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Letter from Miss Marjorie. What a lovely surprise. It is so sweet uh, of you to come and see the show. Bless. I hope it is as good as uh, oh, for one for you. For me? For me? <laughs> Audiences uh, can be terribly here, and the boys, well, they are simply thrilled to know you in, in their own special ways. Here's the cut of the proceeds you were promised. Miss Marjorie. Nice. Come on, folks! All aboard! Well, the light and shadow mechanic has been there since the first game, but some of the things which are basic now, like swapping the gun shoulder when in the first. Ah, I gotcha. That's really cool that uh, they've been kind of like playing around with the light and shadow uh, stuff since the first game already. But yeah, how cool would it be for to have it like in an AC game? I would love it. I'm uh, uh, not sure if you've seen Arthur with such short hair. Most times you see people play this, he's very unkempt. That's true, yeah. The thing is, often you have like missions that um, take place or have like a time skip happening afterwards. So, all of the hair, both the uh, facial hair and uh, kind of like head hair, um, gets like uh, long out during that time. And then people don't bother going to the barber shop too often. It happens to be a spell. <laughs> but yeah. I would have been sent in here, I just had a visit of a barber. But it's uh, nice and uh, short. But you agree that having it in an AC game would be great and would uh, add something different and fresh for the gameplay as well? It really would, yeah. I would love it. Wouldn't even have to be like super deep or anything, you know, just kind of like change, uh, for example, detection time of enemies if you are hiding in the shadows. Would be cool. Would you free have that as well? Yeah, that's right, with the, um, with the, uh, facial hair as well, right? 
could also change his uh, like overall hair. Don't actually remember if that's the case or not. Hmm. Rather Dawkins needs us again, but I think I'm gonna go for the main story for now. I spent enough time doing sad stuff in Saint Denis for now at least. Like shit, yeah, that's right. Because he's literally shit in front of you know, on him. You have even an option to not wear a hat in this game, not that you would want to. <laughs> I got you the sinner. Yeah, you can uh, definitely get rid of a hat if you want to, anytime. A game auto uninstalls if you're without a head for more than an hour. <laughs> it's like, gotta wear the head. I feel it's kind of odd uh, not having Arthur with a head. It's almost like playing an assassin and not having the hood on. It just feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. I actually quite like Arthur with, uh, without a head. Just not like freshly cut, I think. I like it a bit uh, longer, usually, if I'm not wearing a hat. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Yeah, it feels weird, doesn't it, Pix? <laughs> Literally everybody in here is uh, wearing a hat as well. Chi sono sti buffoni? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, 
We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Yeah, of course, uh, Bronte likes Dutch. It's like, you lie, you twist your words. You're basically like me. What I really love in that cutscene is when Bronte says that he lies and deceives. You see Arthur and John looking at each other a little bit, you know. Like, yeah, they've noticed that as well, you know, kind of like the white lies that, Arthur, uh, that Dutch likes to tell. Or like saying one thing like, you know, we gotta go to the west, into the open country, but now the other way in the east. Now, was it that his decision to go to Saint Denis was kind of like taken from him by, um, you know, Bronte getting Jack? But we did get further east, you know, to the Brayfait uh, Manor and that whole conflict and got a war there, which basically led to this whole situation. So, uh, yeah, you know, like, he kind of like led us to the east here, to civilization. Looks like a city boy. <laughs> Definitely does, yeah. But everybody benefits, especially you. You know that voice sounded fam familiar? Bronte's voice actor is the same voice actor for uh, Race in Dying Light and Booza and Days Gone. Ah, damn. So, two games you played quite recently as well. That's cool. I actually quite enjoy the voice actor for Bronte. I think he does a great job. Grave robbers? Playing a slimy bastard. No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Two of your favorite games, Shin Perry's his name. I gotcha. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Uh, that poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure. The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branch for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, 
Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. No worries, Lucinda. We will catch you later. And thank you for lurking. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Soon to complete days gone. Really good game. Not sure why you stopped playing Barney. That's fair. Never played this gun myself, but it looked uh, quite interesting. Because Dutch has a plan, but does he sub? <laughs> hey, Vermola. Good day to you, dude. Happy Monday. Happy Mola Murder Monday, I should uh, add. Thank you so much for 23 months, dude. I really appreciate it. How's it going? I hope you're having a good morning so far. The murders are coming. <laughs> awesome. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. I got you, Mola. So, what was happening with your audio? Like, what was the issue of your um, video there, of AC3? I mean, that's fair. Luckily, you went too far into AC3, right? So, um, hopefully it won't take you too long to get to the point you already have gotten to. Far. Let's keep going. I tried to set it up so music wouldn't hit the audio, but instead it was muting the game. Ah, okay. Damn. Well, hopefully you can get that fixed, you know. Why do I get the feeling Bronte's got his feet up laughing at So it doesn't happen today. But if it's only 20 minutes, then, you know, that's... That's alright. Where are these guys here? Exactly I have no idea where to go. There's like no tracks either. Hey there, Mr. Gunny. Welcome in. So they go this direction here. Yourself home. Mm. Think I see something. 
stealth never was your strong suit. Was it if the king wish in Valhalla now I have to go to a wedding? You dislike weddings? Are do you? <laughs> That's fair. I mean, just recently also have been to a wedding uh, as well, haven't you, Mona? I might have got to go this way here. Somebody's trying to wake him. Okay. Come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. <laughs> That's fair enough, Mola. Fair enough. What was that? You see anything? be around here someplace okay but we'll need to be quick we can't go back to Bronte empty-handed let's have a look where they first shot at us from <sighs> Robin grave robbers we've hit the big time and some um, hey L welcome in thank you for the follow come on let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off There might be something in here. <laughs> Got it. Good. Yeah, maybe we're just all in a simulation. Damn, the laws here. The matrix. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. You no. Know. Come on. We best stick to the side.
Dutch. I'm getting a bad feeling seeing your face covered like that. Hey, the court. Welcome in. Come on. Let's just get there. Ah. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, how's it going? It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. So speaking of fitting in games, how long is AC free? Um, I would say between 20 to 40 hours, depending how much content you will be doing. If it's just a main story, probably even shorter. But uh, yeah, I would say on average 20 to 40. There's definitely quite a bit of content in there, but it depends how much you got of your way as well. Do homestead missions, naval missions, and all that type of stuff. Yeah, that's the one Barney with uh, Connor during the American Revolution. Am I playing uh, on PC or console? So I'm playing this one on PC. Yeah. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Oh. Yeah, you should definitely be able to finish it in 30, I would say, Mona. Should be possible for sure. With max uh, graphic settings. So I'm hang having like uh, high visuals, I guess, and I'm having between medium to ultra graphical settings, kind of like dependent on the um, benefit versus performance. Right. Let's get this done. But yeah, I'm having essentially high to ultra uh, graphics, I would say. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Oh, what if I don't want to have to uh, go on the party? <laughs> what about that Dutch? We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Wait to see how you know grateful John is for having Jack back for. Let's get this boy back to his mother. He's really growing into that uh, father role. Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun, 
and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, hey. they're back! Hey. I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Good to have you back, oh, kid. We yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? <laughs> oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros y un cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Man, the whole atmosphere of the gang is just... <clears throat> it's amazing. It really feels like you're like part of this, you know, group of people. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you can really like just tell you, you know, how everybody cares which of us so deeply. Just amazing. <clears throat> um, also got a 1017 when you max out almost everything, you get a, a FPS less than 25, that's weird. Yeah, there's like some settings that are really taxing on performance. 
Uh, what I can recommend checking out is a video by Hard to Unbox, which kind of like goes in depth with all of the um, settings essentially. You can have a look over on uh, that link to kind of like show you each setting and the impact on performance. They can kind of like tailor uh, settings that fit uh, for your setup. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Uh, Mola Dutch's strength is running his uh, flapper, but she wish she could just kill him now. <laughs> Itachi, we, you got a mouse in your pocket because you don't recall any of this being uh, a wee situation. Yeah, he just likes to take the credit, you know? Sure. Being the leader and all. Something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> Was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, understandable. We did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. All right, well, I should be getting on. See you later. But it's a quick shot about that expression on John's face and then the longer focus I'm looking at uh, on his epic takes Jack and is so happy he's alive. It says uh, so damn much. It really does, dude. Yeah. It's really cool to see how John really takes on the true as a father, you know. Especially now that he lost Jack, he knows how much he cares about him. And uh, yeah, it's good that he doesn't have, you know, that kind of like inner drive anymore to go away. But uh, to stay, I guess. Tahiti, Mangos Maidens, Paradise, and Unspot Paradise. What a plan. <laughs> the best of plan. Some interesting foreshadowing there about the rope being shot, except of course with a twist on it that it ends very differently than what happened with uh, Hosea. Very true, yeah. He never lets me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. He upped me and he me and he caught me out and he fucked me black and blue. No, of it was a sin. Alright. Okay, Before the break of day, he handed me a ten pound note and these was him to say, Take this, you darling, for the damage I've done. Nine months from now, you'll have a daughter or a son. And if it be a daughter, Nap the darling on your knee, oh, and if it be a son, send the bastard off to sea. With that little ribbon tucked and having that coat and navy blue, let him climb the rails like his daddy climbed up. Never happened was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Wonderful song. <laughs> exactly what. That's also one of the reasons I love the uh, epilogue so much, because, uh, you know, it really shows the struggle as well that John has, you know, trying to be a good father. I mean, he's trying, of course, but uh, it's not like it's coming naturally to him either. But yeah, I'm looking forward to play that part again. And then ultimately to get to the first Red Dead Redemption game as well. Sometime later this year. Next time, you can rob the graves and... I'll drink the cognac, okay? Oh, I hope there won't be a next time. Sure there will. Maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. 
This army discharge certificate. This is to uh, certify that Marion Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder and uh, deviancy. Dated this 27th day of December 1892. Officer in charge, Colonel Harold T. Irving, 50th Infantry. When uh, Arthur is singing along with his songs there. <laughs> Even though he's like offbeat very often, but yeah, I don't know. Just feels uh, very real, I guess, as well. Bunny, how was the day, little Jack? Jack, <laughs> I was kidnapped. <laughs> Old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. Hello. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna... Make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its peasants vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Holy shit, the timing with a thunderstorm, bro. It wasn't scripted, was it? It was almost like ironical, you know, having like the thunder burst down while. I just saying that like yeah no it's not gonna happen hellfire is gonna rain down on you instead that's just being a great guy again you see leave him molly I should go to the authorities to make a deal to give up Dutch or maybe go hunting with him and whoops. <laughs> it's like, I thought he was uh, a bear or something. Mr. Smith, can I get you a libation of some kind? I think I'm alright. Said enough. Sure. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? 
We'd have both died with six points cabin. Yeah, that's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later, then. See you, Arthur. Jesus, it's quite a thunderstorm. Those who look out for their own. Jesus, guys, I'm down. Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you. Just calm down. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? Man, Anko is definitely one of the most likable characters in the game. <laughs> he never takes anything too serious or, you know, gets like super mad as well. He's just chilling. Well, I should get back to it. Uh huh. Gotcha. I don't wanna die if I get out of all. I wanna be like a gentleman. I wanna be a gentleman. A gentleman cop! What a party. Maybe it's time to move the party inside. No kidding. That's quite, quite a storm here. Hey. Yeah. Oh god, don't. No. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Lenny. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, off. The flashback to the bar scene, just amazing. Go ahead and get some sleep, shall we? If the game allows me, that is. Would night the game was dark and trippy. Fair enough, yeah. Night is one I haven't played yet. As far as origins, I've only played Asylum and City so far. But that looks really good for. Like what I've seen so far from uh, watching Rod play the game quite a bit. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, 
I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Well. I guess we're seeing Mary again. I wish Arthur would just focus on the other Mary, Mary Beth. I feel like they would uh, make a better pair. I can definitely understand why he feels uh, that way about uh, Mary as well. They of course, have his whole like past of trying uh, over and over. Yeah, anyways, I think this is where I'm going to go and take a break, uh, Navo. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you can see us through the wall here. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. Let's say, uh, yeah, I'll be back in like 10 to 15 or so. And then we're gonna go and check out what's uh, available here in Shady Bell. Of course, we got a cool strawberry with uh, Lenny. It's also a mission for Mary Beth, for Hosea, and for Strauss. Well, I guess I'm gonna do a Strauss mission first because I wanna prioritize uh, the side missions over main story. Yeah, we can also go ahead and um, do the professor mission here in Rhodes. Also got summoned Sandini. So I think we're gonna try to focus on those missions first before we continue with the main story, just to make sure that uh, we don't miss out on anything. What is this area here? Avi Indian Reservation. Fair enough. It's like, stop pee, -pee on me, Alpha. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the game didn't recognize that as like an actual wall, but a wall that was like, uh, you know, like where you were able to see through and still talk to others. Thanks, Rod. It definitely will. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in just a few. Oh damn, <laughs> catch up. I literally just went into my break like uh, a couple seconds ago. <laughs> but at least I still, uh, you know, caught the raid there. I didn't go away from my desk. But catch up, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good uh, time today. How was your stream? And uh, what did you play today? Was it Subnautica or did you play some Ori? Levy, welcome in. Long time no see. Ava Italian, welcome in. It's a catch up, right? Out of a puzzle king. <laughs> How's it going, Italian? I hope you're doing well. Right, Hippics. Run, this raid. It's A4 and the Vikings. The things uh, she was good, played a bit more, but uh, got stuck. Ah, I gotcha. 
well, I hope it wasn't too frustrating, um, you know, the point where I got uh, stuck at. Hope you figure out soon how to advance there. If not, maybe I can help you out in the next uh, stream a little. But yeah, glad you had a good uh, time over overall. And uh, yeah, for anybody that uh, didn't come in with Rage just now, if you haven't checked out catch up before, then I uh, definitely recommend doing so. He's uh, currently doing a challenge where he's trying to play all the viewer picks that uh, people in the community have redeemed this year, until the end of the year. And um, yeah, if he succeeds, then a couple of people are gonna donate uh, to a charity of his choosing. So really good challenge there. Um, and uh, yeah, currently he's playing Ori and the Will of the Wisp, which was technically a maxi pick, but uh, maxi picked it for me, kind of. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's the game he's currently playing, as well as Subnautica. So definitely check out those and also the upcoming playthroughs as well. Uh, Ketchup's still loving it, we'll do some more in the next uh, night end stream. Very nice. Hopefully I get to catch uh, some of that as well. Telling good mornings. Better now, work is done early, so we're chilling now and uh, basically hype. Oh yeah, Italian. Hope you enjoy that uh, free time there. That's awesome. Hey Vettor, welcome in. If that's a very sort of shout out whatsoever, catch up. More than happy to give you one. And uh, yeah, while we edit, before I go to my break, I also want to give a shout out here to Rod. Rod is also another streamer of a community who's highly invested into narratively driven games and also especially Rockstar games. He's currently playing for the GTA series actually with uh, GTA 4 and 5 as well still. He's also a big big fan of uh, Assassin's Creed so you can catch him play those games currently on Saturday. He just started AC Origins with a new game plus playthrough. And it's also gonna go through Odyssey and Valhalla as well before the year ends. So definitely, definitely go ahead and check out uh, Rod as well, if you haven't before. And I also wanna give a shout out to Mauler. Mauler's currently doing his uh, Mauler Murder Mondays usually. <laughs> but he's also added another Murder Tuesday as well, now that uh, he has another schedule he can do starting in the um, quarter season. So currently for his uh, Murder Mondays he's playing for the AC Saga and he just finished Revelations and made a start in AC3. So uh, most likely today I think he's uh, gonna come back to AC3 and uh, continue playing that one. So um, yeah, definitely check out these streams as well if you haven't before. <clears throat> the first rot, more than happy to give you one as well dude. And uh, you have a good night here, Pix. Thank you for dropping by as well. Hope you get some good rest and uh, we will see you next time. But uh, yeah, with that I'm gonna go and take my break now. Thanks again so much for the raid uh, catch up and sorry about the timing here. <laughs> but I really appreciate it and um, yeah, maybe catch some of you guys in just a few after my break. Thank you. 
cheery around here. Alright, welcome back guys, and thank you all for staying tuned. Eva Aura, welcome in. Or thank you so much for refunding the points there to Aura. Yeah, sometimes when there's still like an audio bit or sample playing, um, at another one gets redeemed, uh, the second one gets cancelled. Always has to kind of like wait until um, one redemption is finished basically. Uh, yeah, we are back in Shady Bell, and uh, in Shady Bell we have quite a few things we can do, namely a court robbery with um, who was it? With Lenny. Oh yeah, double off me a Lenny mission. But before we do that, well, let's go ahead and change back to full screen here, so the performance is actually working a bit better. Thank you, Rod. Welcome back as well. And thank you for staying tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and find Lenny, shall we? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but... I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> All right. It's like, Let's I choose go. you, Arthur. It should be on its way right now. Welcome back to Cinder. Oh hell yeah. I hope it's something delicious. It seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Damn, it's kind of crazy to think that Lenny's like younger than 20. He's definitely seeming much more mature. Follow me. More mature than Micah, at least. So who's the fella told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellas who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Arthur's like, let me edit, let me edit. <laughs> it's kind of cool how Arthur's looking out for Lenny here. Trying to protect him. So now back with your country fried chicken TV dinner. <laughs> Classic. I hope you enjoy it. How was Ubisoft forward? You were out on Saturday and missed it. You called him Raj Trader, though. 
I got Shora. <clears throat> yeah, it was uh, really, really interesting actually. I, I have to say I'm excited for what's to come for AC. Not necessarily for like everything they announced, but more of the fact that they actually have made certain decisions I think are the right ones to take. Now clearly Ubisoft is at a stage where they want to keep, you know, kind of like RPG formulas and stuff. But now it's kind of like uh, only under the jurisdiction of Ubisoft Quebec essentially, which I think is a good call. Because they're clearly invested into going into that path and direction. And Namoncho is kind of like work on their own AC games. And really try to innovate and push forward, which they have already kind of like been doing. With AC1, AC3, Unity and Origins, you know, always kind of like developing the series further. So I'm quite intrigued to see how AC Hexa turns out, because I'm also like super, super into the setting of like 17th century Holy Roman Empire in Germany and the Witch Trials. I think it will be quite interesting. <clears throat> And there's lots of opportunities, and Darby McDavid already has been confirming that he's working on hexes, so I can, I guess we can definitely assume that he's gonna treat the historical period with a lot of care, as well as the connections to Assassin's Creed. So, yeah, very excited for that. Probably even more excited than I am for Mirage. And Mirage also looked really good with a trailer. I like what they did there, and it's kind of cool, like seeing Basim, I guess, as a younger thief. And um, also, you know, 20 years before Valhalla, seeing how he will kind of like be joining the assassins and learning about the Creed and everything. According to what's been said so far, Mirage is supposed to be more like your classic AC experience, right? Focusing more on stealth and parkour. Also, what I recently also read is that Mirage was never officially planned as a DLC for Valhalla. It was only on paper, but it was never developed. As a DLC. So they've been actually working on uh, that, I guess, at least since Rafa for Druids, I would say. Because uh, it's still, as far as I know, Bordeaux working on Mirage. <clears throat> but yeah, I think it's good that Montreal isn't like actually going back to old Assassin's Creed, but rather trying to develop the series further because I think that's what it needs, right? It needs fresh ideas rather than just going back to how it always has been. So, yeah, I'm kind of like satisfied with having one game kind of like going back, I guess, for once. And fulfilling that Assassin Fantasy and then, you know, the future AC game Hexa being like something completely new and fresh. And um, hey there, CBBT, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. And uh, no very smaller. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Yeah, like they announced so freaking much about Assassin's Creed, it's almost insane. <clears throat> but yeah, I think it's really a good call there to take you back to their thing and more sure their thing, I guess. This should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said, wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said, drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit. U.S. Marshals. <laughs> Yeah, 
Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. <sighs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. <gasps> <laughs> it would take off a hundred. My share's 25. That wasn't worth it whatsoever. Okay then, girl. Yeah. It was like the worst heist ever. At least in terms of like how much we took uh, out of it. Anyways, how about we actually go back to Rhodes here because we got a mission there for the professor. I'm sorry, Kevin Jackson, you're not real. <laughs> Damn it, Lenny, he said, wait for a seat. Yeah. You should listen to his mentor a bit more often. You could learn a thing or two. Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. Might just be a hero, me. Thanks again, citizen. Citizen? Citizen! Citizen! Citizen? After sporting a slick new haircut, you, uh, you see? Yeah, we just went to the barber quite recently. <laughs> he got, you know, he deserved to treat himself a little bit. If I can talk. Welcome back. Uh, no, pick up this guy. <clears throat> hmm. What else is there? Ooh, some premium, premium cigarettes. I take them. What do I think about the Assassin's Creed announcements? Um, yeah, I'm actually de definitely looking forward to most of them. Especially Mirage and Hexa, I'm uh, really excited for. Because it seemed like uh, like Mirage, of course, like going back to old school AC in a way. And um, Hexa kind of like trying something completely fresh and new. The Shinobi game AC Red. Um, yeah. I'm not too excited about, I think, given that it's uh, Quebec working behind it and it focusing more on RPG again, so I guess we can expect gender choice and uh, dialogue choices and uh, all that type of stuff that kind of like doesn't fit too well with like experiencing history, I guess. 
Oh, who knows, maybe it's gonna be a good, like, gameplay game, you know. Because Syndicate Odyssey certainly have been good games in terms of, like, mechanics. Not so much, narratively speaking, boo. Hey there, fella. How there, mister? Uh, or thanks to me, you started a new playthrough of Ahala. Goodbye, free time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aura. So have you finished your Origins playthrough that you started uh, a while ago? Yeah. I hope you had a good time though, with uh, Bahada so far. I love the beginning sequence in Norway so much. And yeah, that's right, Tor. It's uh, a game set in Japan. Codename Red. Finally delivering on that uh, feudal Japan. Kind of like uh, setting that people have been asking for for a long, long time. There'll probably be dragons and demons you fight as well. I would think so as well, yeah. Probably lots of mythological stuff in it. I didn't finish Origins, just uh, hopping around. That's definitely fair. So how far into uh, Valhalla have you gotten at this point? Have you left uh, Norway yet? His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right, on. And I'll tell right, you, on. you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! <laughs> These two. <clears throat> Amazing. So we gotta take down the uh, bounty posters. It's like an AC2 or something. We gotta get rid of him to lose notoriety or something. Or upgrading gear so hard in Origins because money is impossible to collect. Yeah, it's really tricky. There's like some places where there's like lots of trading routes where people are like doing uh, money deliveries. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tricky. You basically gotta loot uh, each every person and every chest. And even then it can be, you know, very scarce. The amount of money you get. But more with just Creed War of Gods. <laughs> Shadow of the War of Gods, I think, is what it's called. Haven't left nowhere yet. Sigurd just told you Eivor he wants to raid Kirby's place. Forgot how hot female Eivor is. Yeah, Eivor is uh, pretty amazing. Also love the way Eivor is just written, you know. Kind of like the warrior poet, in a way. Next time I play Valhalla, I definitely go for female Eivor, though. Hasty face streak of piss. <laughs> That's an insult I haven't heard for a long time. Yeah. Hi, folks. Good day so far.
nice of the asylum to let you people out for a bit. Spoken like a true lick spittle yourself. I ain't finished with you. Pull in your horns, friend. Calm down. It wasn't worth my time anyway. When you said uh, he had the mods, uh, I had the mods to get money, you would have got them, but you never get better gear. Yeah. I kind of wanted to get most of the items from the Helix stores, so I figured, you know, and especially the outfits. We have like more outfit redeems, so I figured I might as well go for it once. And um, yeah, I'm glad I did. Because that way I didn't have to like spend too much time on like, uh, you know, forts and looting and stuff. I could focus more on like the missions. When we feel that the enemies decide for gender, since it follows uh, what you did last time with FEMA A4 at Mayo um, Harvey. I gotcha. Yeah, that's definitely a way to go. You know, have like uh, Mayo Odin, of course, and then like uh, the Canon FEMA or A4. If you wanna play like it's uh, meant to be, at least. But what one, mem one member of the audience is bored and the other sleep. <laughs> One is just dancing like a lunatic. It's putting the spring in half a step. <laughs> it sure does. Glad you Good evening, sir. In. I've got that uh, information you asked for. What happened to your hat? I assume this isn't just a social call. Let's go ahead and pay some bounty. And ask about the moonshine. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Rich and Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. We introduced the gear leveling with player leveling origins, but I forgot to make gear upgrades more accessible. So level 25 with 18 gear. I gotcha. So what I usually do, Aura, is I uh, activate level scaling and then all the gear that you get will be on your level or at least a level range of you. It's one way to also ensure that you get more money is by activating level scaling and, uh, you know, just get like better gear this way. Of course, that also makes the enemy slightly stronger, but you will always be able to assassinate them essentially and combat also shouldn't be too much of a buffer. Yeah, that's uh, probably the best way to ensure, uh, like, items on your level. But you've never seen it with a bandage uh, around his head before. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happened there. I wonder if that's the story. Good. There they are. Wonderful return, escape prisoners, Mr. Black, Mr. White. Capture alive, escapes from chain gang, still at large. Both considered dangerous, last seen in the vicinity of Rhodes. Okay, that's the first bounty poster here. There, there must be more. If it's getting on, but all the gear you like to use hasn't been upgraded because you can't pay for it. I gotcha. Yeah, that's really something like actually paying for like especially legendary gear to upgrade is just so damn expensive. What I usually tend to do is uh, just buy hacker chests instead because it costs like the price of like uh, like two or three costs the price of like one upgrade usually, and there's a good chance to get the legendary item out of that anyways. So unless you really have like one specific item you want to upgrade, then I usually just go for the um, Echo Chess. 
Bird handsome. Oh, 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 yeah. hey, hey, friend, remember me? We met yes. before. This yeah. here's the fella. I could swear. The one that found me. The Madison man, huh? Helps with the mystery box. I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. Howdy. <laughs> okay. Appreciate what can I do for you? Haven't conquered yeah, you the way I have. guy with the snake bite says can I can do. put something here on his tab. That fool? Yeah, Jesus. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Does this guy also have like a bandage? Why does he also have a bandage on his head? What happened here? Or is that his like head? I can't tell. It doesn't look like a proper bandage, does it? <laughs> but it's kind of like bloody, so I don't know. Maybe it is. I've helped a lot of snake uh, bite victims. This must be a glitch or something. Yeah, I don't know what's what's happening here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's so very what's ever, Lucinda. Thank you so much for coming by and uh, for joining. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your day and a great start into your stream if you're doing one. If anybody hasn't uh, checked out Lucinda before, then I would highly recommend doing so. She's currently playing some Dishonored, the Death of the Outsider DLC, I think it is. But yeah, it's also a big fan of like other first-person uh, shooter and stealth games, also survival, horror, and lots more. So you can also catch Resident Evil, Bioshock, and all kinds of other games on the Fallout. So um, yeah, if you're into those games, then definitely go ahead and check out Lucinda's channel. That's the verse. Thanks again also for extending your sub, Lucinda. I really appreciate it. And we will catch you next time. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and get a new outfit, I guess. Maybe the Chevalier. The Gambler. Uh... Let's get the gambler outfit, I guess. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. Damn. How's this for moving? You gonna do it then? <laughs> How's this for moving? I just, uh, you know, put up my gun. Kind of tea did the Americans call on this first for liberty, <laughs> and so it begins. A continuation of the dad jokes. So I reckon that's gonna be your um, streaming title today, Mona. Very nice. Hey, okay, I wanna change my outfit here. Number one. I guess it kinda is, but it's of the right shirt. Oh, never mind. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, they worse than worse. No, it's worse one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. 
Plus, Something interesting about me? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But you the got a dog problem he with me? killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died Shame. of a heart attack. I was looking forward to driving. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. Who How's let the Tom? simpleton out of the He's asylum? Fine. I'm gonna give you the beating your daddy should have done. I ain't stopping till you're dead. <laughs> Oven. Mission pass. Knock out a random stranger in roads. Error 2 had to look and apparently characters suddenly wearing bandages around their heads was happening for some players even two years ago. You never had it uh, ever come across it uh, yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. I think I might have seen it in one of the Easter egg videos for it or two. But I'm not too sure to be honest. But that's really funny. Kinda makes you wonder what's the connection there, like um why it is happening. What do you think it will be the title? Nice. I like it. Civilian one knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Citizen one. But you weren't sure uh, when we would pop, but you loved how it happened after Arthur picked his uh, head back up. That's true, yeah. It was still really good timing there. <laughs> okay, the question is, where are the other bounty posters here? A suit and still undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Arthur Redeer Morgan. Oh yeah. Nobody could beat us just yet in a uh, box fight. Damn, secret cut. Nice. Let's have a bit more of a look around still. Must be more bounty posters uh, somewhere. Actually, go ahead and expand the uh, minimap there. It's probably easier to find uh, potential bounty posters. First one. Mr. Black, Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can Excuse go and get your own. Ah! Jesus. Ah! Ah, shit. Seriously? I do. Let's not be too hasty here. Well then, it escalated.
I'm quite sure if I can go directly back into roads here, to be honest. I still gotta get that last uh, bounty poster. Yeah. Actually, our bounty is only $7.50, so it shouldn't be too much of a biggie here, I don't think. Let's get it quickly. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I was just standing next to him and he was like, okay, that's enough. No kidding, Aura. It was insane. Let's have a look if I can still get back into the town here. Yeah. Or not. Some lawmen over there. Yeah, there's lawmen over the place here. Just gotta be careful. I guess I can just pay my bounty over here. Rid of me before, and you won't now. Just keep it civil if you can. I like how he's still wearing a bandage. So I have a stagecoach information you don't know. Did you hear about that gunfight out in the cornfield by Braveway Manor? Probably blame that on the Hold on, I'll be right there. Sir, good morning. That's the word in town. Well, hello again. I got another one. Then. You interested? Indeed. Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. It's very right. At north up the road past Face Rock. I can for antique, uh, antiques coming from the northeast headed for a buyer in Rhodes. Should only be a couple of guards. Deliver to Shemus at Emerald Ranch. Careful not to damage the wagon or the cargo. That is how you enter the donut shop in the morning. <laughs> I'm the best suit. <laughs> Amazing. I can imagine. I love doing that in this game, you know, just like charge into uh, like a saloon or whatever kind of like house. You would just stand there looking at you like, what did you do? And why? But uh, that's the part of it too, where the character would talk to you like you were the cause of it. Yeah, it's like, what have I done? I didn't do anything. Did I? What can I do for you? Directions of people are prices. Also love doing it uh, to doors that I have uh, glass windows. <laughs> it's like, yeah, here, let me shut up this window real quick. A very good morning. Make everyone aware of my presence. Can we find another bounty poster? There we go. It's all of them. Now we should be able to go back to Mr. Black and White. But where are they? Ah, okay, now it's spawned. Okay, girl. One of the more calm post acquisitions of this mission. <laughs> I 
kidding after the last one. I preferred uh, this way to burn us and being randomly shot at. in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Burn the posters or capture the convicts of the bounty. You got him or what? We've come to rely on you, mister. I don't know what they told you in town. We've been straight with you. We ain't angels, but... We're good folks, or I am. Not now, Black. Okay, we're both good folks. So, do you got the posters? We just want those posters gone. Yeah, sure. I got the posters. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. <laughs> you done enough for us. We're on our own now. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure we're gonna split up very soon. Obviously. We're not reliant on each other or something. Alright, awesome. How about we go up here and uh, rob the next uh, stagecoach here? one we just got a hint for. What's in your head? What's in my head? Zombies. Say him. Hey, mister, can you help me? Please help me. My damn horse died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. You're happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Legras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Oh, then it's the opposite direction, no, but no. that's okay. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust him much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Legras, no. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more use to us. Last horse we butt, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, it's gonna come out with a rifle on him. Ah, there's no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legras? 
Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I ask you. Bet it was a long time. No offense. But I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I never leave my home. You won't call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no war, ain't no boss, man. Ain't no train gonna take that from me. That's optimistic, man. I'll say that. No, mister. I'll die for me and mine, and that's the damn truth. No word of a lie. But you kind, mister. Well, thanks. Hmm. And I enjoy the dialogue here, to be honest. Definitely is making good points here about uh, Arthur's war, I guess, you know. If it's also the whole struggle with Mary, I guess, you know, the fact that Arthur can't really uh, grow roots, I guess. He can't really set it down. Of course, that's what, what he wants, really, is it? Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Good luck with the wildlife, miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no. Oh, then. So we're kind of closer to this mission here for the professor than we are for the other one. So let's go over here, actually. Then watch us get like another stranger mission and uh, end up completely elsewhere on the world map or something. Yeah. Be a classic Red Dead Redemption 2 moment. Always getting distracted by some other opportunity. That's like a ever free alligator somewhere. This one. Yep. Easy. He's there like everywhere. Sorry guys, but you need to get out of the way. Yep. Okay there. Yeah, no kidding, Aura. Actually insane how many gators there are. Hopefully enough of them actually gets me here. Nice, perfect alligator skin. Oh, yeah.
my tutor never visit the south. <laughs> yeah, I'll be definitely a bit scared as well there. But at least it's not uh, crocodiles, you know. It would be even worse. I don't, I can't have as all of it off uh, these crocodiles, but I still want to get them for the alligator. Uh, these alligators, I mean. I want to get the alligator teeth and uh, other resources. Yeah, I can only carry one right now, so let's head back to the horsey. I can't damage the wagon or the goods, apparently. Oh, stop a moment. Hey. A uh, word of warning. I see a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this ship. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't. Shot of the wagon reminded you of Ghost of Tsushima when you hide and wait for the bands of uh, villains to walk through. Then you shoot the bird. <laughs> and I really gotta replay Ghost of Tsushima again. No oh, wow. But I really enjoy that one a lot. I wanna do like a new game plus playthrough of it once to get the platinum trophy, I think. Also to give me like a way to focus more on the um, main story, I guess.
Whoops. It's fine. Wagon didn't got damaged, I think. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money <laughs> it's it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent N nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? I see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Amazing. Also, just got uh, back a message about uh, running low on video uh, memory. It never happened to me before with, with this game. Come on, girl. And a Chris. Also, hey, uh, Dutch uh, Monster for you. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Good day to you as well. Calmly and peacefully. Yeah, right. Electric like chairs very peacefully. I guess some people would prefer the guillotine over that. Hey there, Resurrendum. This is the uh, campaign, yeah. So, story mode, single player. Currently in the chapter 4, uh, Saint Denis. Language, please. Summer. Warner. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> You little bastards! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank Thank you. Get off 
me. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Yeah. Get out of my face. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, Help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Jesus Christ. Like, first we chase somebody, then we're getting chased ourselves. Yeah, how sad is it for seeing Miss, Mrs. Uh, Downs, you know, basically being a prostitute now? Because it's the only way she can, you know, pay for a living, I guess. With her husband dead and everything, and them having to give the money to us. Of a debt. I really like the continu continuity of all with that storyline, you know, and how later Arthur tries to fix things. At least as much as he can. Uh, Rezo, so take it uh, in the game, keeps with the same setup of cutscenes after cutscenes with a bit of button pressing and a tiny amount of gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends what you're doing, but uh, it's definitely quite narratively driven, yeah, so there's like lots of cutscenes and you can definitely sit back and uh, watch it sometimes. Also lots of lots of action as well. Okay, my girl. But, yeah, probably it's a good mix, but I can definitely be uh, narratively heavy, I guess, for other players. Hey, the Anglo. That woman is the wife of a guy you killed. Hope you feel bad. <laughs> but technically, I didn't kill him. But uh, yeah, I did make the situation better, though. That's true. Definitely feel bad, though. At least from Arthur's perspective. But yeah, welcome in Anglo. I hope you're doing well. to bring back the crucifix I guess. Oh, hold on. There's the doorman there. Shit, there's another one. Way too many lawmen here. That allows will and our own needs to take the place of sacrifice. And after all, isn't that the problem of most charities today? It's more about the giver feeling better about himself than the good of the receiver. Perhaps. But then should they not give it all? None of us are perfect, or purely driven by good. Not even you, Sister Calderon. Uh, Res, you're trying to play the game, but you get bored watching the cutscenes. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Also for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's definitely fair, you know. Like sometimes you just want to play a game for gameplay's sake, not uh, to watch like uh, lots of cutscenes. Totally get it. But yeah, Red Dead is definitely not the game for that though. Just to uh, 
I guess, uh, focus entirely on gameplay. Unless you do like hunting for hours. Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Alpha can't take uh, the compliments there. That's understandable, right? Like... Alpha has done a lot of things that can't really be considered good, you know, and is certainly thinking about those when she's saying he's the most wonderful man or something. Right, I guess we're just gonna stay in San Denis for now. There's uh, quite a few opportunities we have. We could uh, meet uh, the artists again. Ah, there's also a mission for Mary. Interesting. Would have shot one of those uh, two by now. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Definitely get it. It's kind of fun, you can actually go for like a low honor playthrough if you wanted to. Like, if you're really pissed off by some characters, you just go for the bad ending. Arthur! Easy. Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Please. You came all this way. It would really mean a lot. Do it for me, not him. So you will? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. 
Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. It's kind of interesting when you have like the opportunity to make a choice. The game will actually auto choose for you something if you don't press anything. Which is just what happened. So I guess the canon choice would be to actually help Mary. Which I guess makes sense for Arthur, right? Like he would probably still do it. Even if he feels like he's being used by her, which I guess is definitely the case in a way. Like, yeah, she's caring about Arthur, but she also wants Arthur to fix uh, her family problem. A family that couldn't accept Arthur. So it's not really particularly fair, I guess. Listen to me play as you play another game. Fair enough. <laughs> I like doing that as well. Just play something while I watch uh, another stream. But yeah, let's see, I guess, how we can help the father. But yeah, I think next time I play Red Dead Redemption 2, I might actually go for like all the choices auto-selected by the game, just to see what happens. Standing, he's usually falling down. Arthur, he wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. I haven't yet wrestled. I've only played the game once before, and I went for a high honor playthrough. I'm actually not sure if I can bring myself to play like an actual evil playthrough because I couldn't really see Alpha as a kind of character. Like every now and then, obviously, yeah. But uh, some choices just feel really wrong to me. Going for the negative one. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Yeah. Yet he seems like he's an upright citizen. This way. <laughs> it's like actually a tailing mission. Amazing. Understandable, yeah. I guess it would be fun for the loads of it 
to go for like an evil playthrough, but I don't know. For the second time, I still couldn't bring myself to uh, do it just yet. Citizen! Real role model? Yeah. Makes sense he couldn't accept Arthur, right? Given how morally righteous he is. An upright citizen? Just went between those crates. Oh yeah, for sure, Rod. I'm actually looking quite forward to that. I reckon we're both gonna see quite a few scenes we haven't seen before. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? So kind of cool fact, but um, when this uh, scene is happening, right, when she kind of like drags him around the corner and they're kind of like get close, you can actually feel the heartbeat of a uh, of of Avo, <laughs> of Arthur, with a controller vibration. So that's like a small detail, I guess, that you couldn't see, but is actually happening. So that, I guess, still showcases how much, uh, you know, Arthur is kind of like feeling for her, I guess. When is he doing that? Mola? Um, I think Mola will be getting to Reddit 2 after finishing AC3. Could be wrong, but I think that's uh, the plan. A lot of Buddy McGuire level shenanigans will happen. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be cool to see. Catch up right. Welcome back, Maxi. Joining in with all the raids. Hope your day is going well, Maxi. And thank you for joining the raids there. Back in November after spooky season. I gotcha, yeah. Fair enough. Well, that's great if you put the detail into the feedback from the controller. It really is, yeah. I'm usually not a big fan of vibration in games, but that's like a nice use of it. What I also remember is at the start of Marvel Spider-Man, you have like uh, the phone go off and at the same time your controller as well. Kind of like uh, wakes you up the same way it wakes up, um, you know, um, of course, Peter. Or that reminds you of a scene of Witcher 3 with Garrett and Yennefer where they hide behind the tapestry after they break into the druid's lab. That's true, yeah. It's quite similar. But they also uh, try to hide, I guess. I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. So this is another funny detail here because according to how clean you are, or even if you're like underweight or overweight, uh, Mary's gonna make like a comment about Arthur. Now we haven't taken a bath in a long time, which is why she's making a comment about us being so dirty. However, if you actually are overweight, right, by eating like lots of food uh, and stuff, then she will actually make a comment about how she likes you having a bit more. <laughs> you know, she likes uh, Alpha being well fat, apparently. It's like a favorite Alpha look. The height and then Garrett gets nervous. Classic. Yeah, good old Witcher 3. I don't miss the Yennefer scene so. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. What? Come on, game. You lost Mr. Gillis. No, I fucking didn't. 
It just didn't run around the corner. Just walked like a normal human. The road. No, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. Yeah. Did you also miss Tainy missions? The best kind of missions. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going after your father like you told me to. How about that? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a piece to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You probably killed someone. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Where's my horse for? Stop that coach! Yeah, I had to take this horse, didn't I? Let's go. Yeah, you can drag your horse with uh, stimulants. <laughs> Make them run for longer. It's kind of like similar to the uh, like fortif fortifications for dead eye, health, etc. Get out of there! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. 
I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Uh, uh, good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. I don't. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Can I actually not hit him? I can't hit him, can I? So I could shoot him, but I can't actually uh, use the um, Velasco on him. Oven. I think you not, uh, need to just get the start of a story going. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Like, the first chapter is definitely more narratively focused and a bit slow. But once you get to a second ship, that really starts uh, going. And the missions also start to be like much more yeah. active action as well sometimes. Or just like, you know, super entertaining. But you know, I won't be paying a dime for this brooch. <laughs> you probably just kill the guy and then um, take it from him, right? Cheers, Rezzo. It's definitely fun role playing as a cowboy. Eva, Dr. Pepper, welcome in. I shoot him in the legs first, but yep. <laughs> what sounds reasonable to me, Mona? First, the legs and the head. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. I uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Let's see what the game auto chooses for us here. I reckon it's gonna be accept, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up. 
shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler him, of right. entertainment. Sure. Since After Nero you. himself. Woo! Do not doubt. This is great. As a child. When I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create in this locality so, as a proprietor just of the greatest show Are you in a rush, ever assembled. Arthur? Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. How about I encourage that? any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, yeah! ladies and gentlemen, please right. welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Bring it! for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Crepes, of course they say crepes. Sand in these sacks. <laughs> it's a funny can antagonist here. That's fair, Rezzo. <laughs> I actually really enjoy these uh, shows. Remind me of the um, TV programs in GTA games. Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. You got Your no mother time. most likely told you not to play. I missed the part where that's my or problem. Or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah. 
Stop it. <laughs> Look at Ooh. Playing with fire. Just going full crook mode. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Yeah, the GTA radio and TV shows are just amazing. Piece of art, I might say. comments for this is the best wow, yeah absolutely anglo i really enjoyed the different uh, theaters it's also funny have these like short uh, movies in um valentine i think it was It was also counted as like a show, but it was uh, completely different, of course, to this, like, no extra live performances, just like short movies are created to kind of like spread propaganda in a way. But I guess it reminded me even more of the TV shows from GTA games in a way. I like hot things too. Don't say that too loud, uh, Arthur. Mary's right next to you. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Yes. Of course. Or can you?
I was really angry. Oh, hell yeah, Anglo. Yeah, I gotta love all of these small details, you know. Jesus, Arthur. I give us more garbage. Well yeah, Alpha wasn't happy with that uh, part of the show here. Sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we floundered yeah. through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Let's see it. Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. That's a really long mission, actually. But I highly enjoyed that. It was a nice, uh, you know, kind of like mix here of things that happened from trading the father of Mary to, uh, you know, getting uh, 
that stagecoach and the jewel back to like going to a theater with Mary. Catch your wagon and take it to the secluded spot within 1 minute and 45 seconds. Yeah, I guess I kinda missed some time there. But not immediately going for the horse, but calling mine. But it should be one of the easier ones, I guess, 100%. If I should ever go back and uh, try to do that. I'll go back to that theater later, you recall? On one of the main missions? I'm definitely gonna come back to it uh, just to watch some more shows, I guess, as well. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How's things? Well, I've been better. Hey, I didn't ask for your life story. How could you say such a thing? <laughs> okay, I don't want to fight me. Excuse me, partner. Hello. So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Oh, sorry, no idea. Thanks for nothing, idiot. That ain't even called for. Hey, let's get to leave. Hello there, pleased to see you. Stopping the piece? You're kidding me. Thank you. Really. All right. So take it from here. I caught him an idiot, and he's calling the cops on me. Get away from me, please! Fucking idiot. A letter. For me? For me? But it's almost showing uh, a what if Arthur and Mary were together and didn't have anything like well, what's going on actually happening and could just do things like uh, go to the theater. Very true, yeah. And I mean, that's also a moment that she's like, you know, how about we just go Bye. away together, you know, and enjoy more of this time together. But, yeah, unfortunately, that's not possible. I mean, I have 6,000 uh, bucks here. That should be enough money to set it down somewhere for a while. But, obviously, story-wise, that might not be the case. Or not enough money for Arthur as well. And was not the catch uh, the bullet mission. I don't remember myself to be honest, but uh, yeah, you might be right there. I've only ever played it once, so I don't remember all the missions. But I remember getting to a theater at least on a couple occasions. Also, hey there, Seraph. Hey there, Fia. Welcome in. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. Okay, so before we call it for today, let's quickly go ahead and fast travel back to the uh, camp. We can make one delivery for Susan. And um, also check on a few other things here.
up here, girl? Ah, okay, cool. We have like actually another game companion mission with Anko. But we will have to do that at a later point. But now let's go ahead and see if we can find Susan. Or so we can deliver some oregano. Arthur, get over here. Yeah. Chill for a while, Uncle William. Well, this is fun, ain't it? <clears throat> On the run with a bunch of women. All our money lost back in Blackwater. Old Dutch knows where the money is. Just him and Hosea, same as usual. Well, I love Dutchie, but I ain't sure how fair it is. That's all our money. We all deserve a chance to go out and get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now, I know, I know you folks is loyal to the point of constipation, but this is real. That money is our only hope our only hope and it's locked up there good and proper and only Hosea and Dutch know that ain't fair and it ain't doing anyone any good you are the creepiest man I know what you think you're better than me and probably the nastiest. Why do you let yourself get so head up? Hey, you're rattling the wrong day. cage. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm rattling the right one. You okay, Charles? Yeah. You did good getting the boy back. All in the past now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Bye, Arthur. There he is. Evening, Morgan. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Anyway, I know I've ribbed you about that enough. Okay. But well, Michael, you can be unable to run because you're six feet under. How about that? Yeah. That's right. Once uh, John, Sadie, and Charles are done with him. I don't have ambition for Susan, do I? I don't. Charming. Well, you do have a habit of disappearing. Take care, Arthur. You okay? Ah, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Susan, where are you? John. Mr. Smith. Maybe inside. Sadie. Hello, Arthur. Good cigarette? You gonna tell me women shouldn't smoke? No, just making conversation. Well, I'll leave you to it. If you say so. Damn, Sadie has no chose sometimes. <laughs> That's not what I said at all. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Molly. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Speaking of Grimshaw, where is she? Mr. Morgan? Hi, Karen. Take it easy on the bottle today. Who are you, my pa? I'm just looking out for you. Sure, Arthur.
Okay, I guess we're just gonna try to find her next time. Let's go upstairs for now. And uh, have a bit of a sleep here. Alright, so before we actually go ahead and uh, get some sleep, I want to change back to the uh, look I had uh, earlier day. Didn't save last time for some reason. So I went for the everyday shirt, the classic blue one here. However, it was the long one. Not like it matters too much, I guess, with a duster coat, but. I can actually change. Ah, now it's actually uh, long sleeve. Never mind. Like auto adjusted, apparently. Fair enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and save this one. So now it's uh, custom outfit number three. This is so tricky actually targeting the bed to go sleep. Okay, there we go. But you just thought of something for extra immersion. Every time Arthur goes to sleep, he changes first into some sleep style clothes. That's true, yeah, you could definitely uh, do something like that. If you want to take it like really immersive. I would kind of love to do like an immersive playthrough for some of the AC games, you know. I would do stuff like uh, you can only walk in the street unless you have like a reason to, for example, chase somebody. Or you could only like run on rooftops or like uh, in alleys or something like that, you know. It would be kind of cool to do something like that at some point. Oswald the Wedding Belts, this is cool. Are you doing the East Anglia mission right now, Mona? In Valhalla? But yeah, let's go ahead and have a save here, though. I'm just gonna go and uh, write over the earliest saves. So damn, we actually have been playing this game since the 1st of August. So well over a month now at this point. Yeah, it's been a bit. Right, and now we are 52.7% of the game. Making slow progress here, but that's alright, because I've been definitely also focusing on side missions and everything. But yeah, story-wise now 44% for the game. Including the epilogue, I guess. Oh yeah. I guess. But yeah. This is where we're going to call it today for Red Dead Redemption 2. I want to thank you all so much for coming by and for joining today's uh, stream of this game. Tomorrow we will be heading back to AC Valhalla. And uh, the next story arc in 
I think it is Oxenda for Chile. I'm gonna take some time tomorrow though to do some other stuff beforehand though. So we're gonna go do some river raids I think and check out that. And some other side quests that might be open for us. Probably also quite a bit in Raven's Fob as well. And I also wanna be showcasing a few more of the behind the scenes stuff as well as the lore guide by Darby McDavid. So also gonna take some time to watch uh, that in between the stream, I think. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm really excited to get back to Valhalla, especially with all the AC news that just has been revealed on the weekend. All of the wedding portion, you love it. Also was a weakling, but now he's respectable. Yeah, it's really cool to see how Oswald, despite being quite weak, I guess, in a way, you know, like he's not the strongest fighter. He has like a whole lot of courage and he never backs away from a fight, even if it's like almost certain death. So you gotta give him credit for that for sure. It's great that he finally gets it as well by uh, Brovia and Broda, as well as uh, Vidas. That's a very short. Thank you for being here as well, dude. And thanks again for the raid earlier. The very scrammy. Catch you next time. Thank you also for tuning in. Cheers, Anglo. Catch you next time. Yeah, before we're gonna go and call it for today, though, I'm gonna go and have a look who's online and who we can raid, of course. All over done, not enough blood for you, but hey, we can't, uh, can't all be perfect. <laughs> That's true. We can't all be uh, embracing the murder Mondays, like you will later. But yeah, thanks also again to all the resubs today. Mola, thank you for the 23 months earlier. Lucinda, thank you for continuing your sub as well. Um... Thanks also again to the raids at uh, Rod and Ketchup. And thanks also to all the new followers as well today. Razo, thank you for joining earlier. Uh, Dutch uh, Monster, CBBT, L, and Oz. Welcome in again. And uh, yeah, hope to catch you soon. For now, though, we're gonna go and raid out tomorrow. He just started his uh, AC Revelations stream earlier. And I think he's planning on finishing the game today. He's already in the Cappadocia sequence, so I reckon he could certainly get to the end today within like three hours or so. So yeah, let's have a look over there, see how he's doing, how the game is going. Well, I hated that he killed his uh, enemy wall. I did, yeah. The DK ruled already. Yeah, that's something that's kind of like unavoidable because if you don't kill him uh, at that point, then you have to kill him during the wedding. So, um, yeah, it's unavoidable. Cheers, Rod. So, yeah, if you guys want to hop along to, with a raid here tomorrow, there's also some raid emotes you can copy and paste in the chat if you want. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all tomorrow for some good old AC Valhalla. So until then, I hope you have a great rest of the day and take care.